what's up? Welcome back. So I think my most asked question lately, like especially on my vlog channel, is how do I get my ponytail like this? My hair is not long at all. Actually, I have really, really short, thin hair. My favorite brand is definitely Luxie Hair. Um, I'm wearing the chestnut ombres today. Really quick and easy to put in. I really like the color, it matches my hair perfectly. And they're thinner, so it actually blends in better with my hair. So I actually have two different sets. The ones that are trimmed, I trim them myself, to actually be for volumizing my hair and they are the exact same length of my hair. But these are the ones that are uncut and really, really long. I only have two four clip wefts and two three clip wefts, but there's like a certain way that I clip them into my hair so that you can't see the clips. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you in my next video, bye. First things first, if you are working with third or fourth day hair, you will definitely be needing a dry shampoo. I am using one by Herbal Essences and just lightly spraying it into the roots of my hair and a little bit on the ends as well just to give my hair more texture. And then I'm going in with a Shaper hairspray. This is by Sebastian and this is again just going to add more volume and texture to the hair and absorb the oil. If you want to, you can just go ahead and use Orbe dry texturizing hairspray instead of those two products. Now I'm using a paddle brush to gently brush the hair. I like to start from the bottom and work my way up to the top. As you can see, it looks much smoother now and a lot less oily. And even if you have washed your hair and just styled it, I would still recommend to brush out the hair so you can get rid of any tangles. When you're working with thicker hair or hair extensions, it is best to use a thicker hair tie like this one so that your hair stays in place. Now we can go ahead and begin sectioning out the hair. So using your first two fingers, go ahead and make a very large oval around the crown section of your hair. Also picking up a bit from the mid section as well and tie that up. Make sure you brush out your hair extensions if you are using them. The first one I'm going to be putting in is a four clip weft. So what you wanna do is actually flip it upside down and then start clipping them into the hair. If you need to tease your hair before applying these, you can so that it holds better, but I find that I don't usually have to do that. When you're clipping in these end sections, make sure they are as close to the center of the head as you can get them. Otherwise, they will be showing when you pull the hair back if they are anywhere near the hairline. Leave a little bit of room so that you can clip the next four clip weft in over top. Now we are picking up the next section of hair. This is just the crown section. It's about half the size smaller than the other section we had picked up before. Take a three clip weft and clip it in right side up this time, starting from the middle clip and then again with the side clips, keeping them as close to the center as possible. Leave a little bit of room and clip in your next three clip weft right over top. Pull all of your hair back so that it is over your shoulders and all in one place. It's just easier to pick up that way. I'm starting with the top section of hair. So as you can see with one hand, I'm holding the hair that is gonna be in the ponytail and with the other hand, I'm just very gently pulling the hair, framing the face over the clips, making sure none is showing. I would definitely recommend to have a mirror so that you can see. And you know, this is just very loose. You can do this with a, with a brush if you like, if you want more of a polished look. Look. Tie the ponytail in place, however high you like it. If you have any flyaways, go ahead and spray those down with your hairspray and smooth them out with your hands so that they lay flat. Also, something else I really, really like to do is to make my ponytail look super shiny. Especially if you're dealing with hair extensions, you know they can start to look dull if you haven't washed them in a while. I would totally recommend this oil. It's from Lux Hair, Lux Oil? <laughs> I'll put it down in the description box. I got it at my hair salon when I last got my hair done and just a little goes a long way, just like a dime size amount. I apply it to the ends of the hair and really, really work it in, you know, so that it just has this nice, shiny look to it. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are able to recreate this hairstyle and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.